Hi everyone, welcome to Lift and Shift. Today we're going to solve a really interesting challenge on CSS battle. Before we start, we need to define our plan of attack first. Okay, let's analyze the given target closely. So the target given is 400 by 300 pixels. And if you look at the mustache in the picture, it simply comprises of three curve, three identical curve, the first one, second one, and third one. And if you look at the one in the middle, it comprises of two semicircle, the outer one, and the inner one. So all you need to do is to have the specs for these two semicircles, and if I draw a line, that separate the picture in half so it's fair to say that this side is 200 pixels and based on my naked eyes comparisons I will say that the outer semicircle here got a radius of 50 and if you look at the inner circle gap between the the gap between the inner circle and outer circle right here I think in my naked eye as well it's around 20 pixel and after we make the first curve we basically just flip it upside down for the other uh, uh, the other two semicircles and then we just assemble them together so to sum up our plan is to first make a first curve in the middle that comprises of two semicircles and then have, we just copy and paste for the other two except they just flip upside down so that's our plan of attack let's get to coding all right um listen let's, let's make a first div i'm a real slow typer so really be patient with me let's name the class is semicircle easy enough um, but first of all, I need to make the body to have the right color. I just copy from here, so the color is copied, right? And also, I need to make the margin to be zero. Some um, the body margin is never be zero. Some for some reason it's always like 5 pixels so we just make sure there's no um, actually margin around so it's easy to work for to work with now semicircle so I just make a semicircle with a radius of 50 so the width gonna be 100 pixel this is for the um, outer circle by the way And let's set the background color first. Um, for those who don't know how to make a semicircle, it's really easy. I can make a dedicated video on it. Basically, um, I just need to put a border top left and border top right radius to be the same as the height pixel. and other else is everything gonna be zero there we go we have a semicircle and now we need to make a inner semicircle um, so for the inner semicircle I think I can use the um, before and after pseudo element so let's, let's use before doesn't really matter um for the before I will make it position absolute and just to make sure we making the content right 
we only need to specify content otherwise it never show up and we can do top 50 percent left 50 percent as well for the width and height I think 60 pixel is okay for now we can adjust it later and the background color is basically the same as the image background and the border radius is exactly the same as the outer circle hmm. nothing show up what's going wrong here let me see okay this is going to be position relative now you see the semicircle right there now we just need to move it we just need to do trans transform translate fifty percent okay minus fifty percent I all right is in the middle which is not ideal so let, maybe instead of um, percentage I can use pixel here uh, let's try 10 now five all right I think that's perfect so as we done with the first curve I'm not sure why I name it same circle in the class maybe I just change the curve right so this make a lot more sense so now we're done with the first curve let's do exactly the same for the other two curves the only difference here is that they are upside down so so as you can see the, yeah, we have three curves at the moment but for the but for the um, um, the first and the third curve is going to be um, flipped upside down so we're going to make another down class so in this down class all you need to do is flip them, flip or rotate it 180 degree that's it uh, as you can see the first and the third one is now upside down um, and that now is exactly what I want now we can work on moving these two three curves into the right position um, because all these um, three curves are going to be at a different position so I can, can make an extra class to indicate which, which one is at which position so for the up curve the, the second curve I just use the up class to identify it and I just move it with transform translate I'm not sure how many pixel I, I guess oh, I, I think it's about 50 pixel if I, if I compare it correctly in it with my naked eye nope I think it's off around 50 pixel Yep, I think it's now at the correct position for the up one. Um, maybe I, I want to identify 
the, the first and the third one as well. So there will they will be they all rotate by 180, but their position are different. So I can add extra translates with different values to move them around. So for this one, I guess around let's, let's play around with 50 pixel first and 100 pixel. Nope. So, so, all right, which one is it? Uh, let me play around with number. All right, the second one right here. The second one right here. So, f thirty fifty not enough to move it. I want to move it under the second curve. So let's say one twenty. No, not enough. So 150, okay, that, I think that's the right position, and um, this is 60, nope, 60, not enough, F 70, right, is in the correct position now, so for the, 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 the third curve, we do exactly the same, now we just so one pixel, 150 will make it way below, so let's try 50, I think, what's going on here, why it disappear? alright, I think it's correct um, height compared to the second curve, I just need to move it, 150 not enough, 130, 150, Nope, so this is more out 200. Nope. 240. Alright, 230. So that's in the correct position now. Now the only missing piece are the brow edges um, at the two ends of the mustache. We can do it with the use of pseudo element. Let's implement this pseudo element now with the before pseudo element. It's gonna be really straightforward. It's gonna be exactly the same as the it's exactly the same as the way we do the inner semicircle. All we need to do is make this position absolute and don't forget to put content otherwise it's not gonna show up now we can declare the width I guess for this the width can just around 20 pixel basically here the pseudo element just need to be a circle and the height is gonna be 20 pixel as well I can set the border radius to be 50% and I forget the background color the background color is the same as the um, mustache color actually it's not can you can use the before because it's already being used for the inner circle that's why we need to use after um, also the position of the row edges for the first and the third curves are different so I can make uh, make them separate in terms of moving the in terms of position uh, properties this one I can make it zero and the bottoms negative 
20 pixel. Um, I still can't see it. 20 percent. Nope, still can't see it. Mm, tricky, tricky. Alright, oh, I make a mistake here. Right. So is actually the circle appears here. Which is exactly what I want. So oh actually actually that's right. Uh because this one is gonna be because this one is belong to Dow B and this one Dow A. And that, yeah that makes sense. Now we instead of right in it to be left because it's okay. I think that's correct now. Yeah? Well, just to clarify, we used before here and it doesn't work. This is because before of this div element is already being used right here to make the inner circle. That's why we have to use after instead. Instead, now we, we have this mustache completed and you can slide and compare it so it looks exactly what I want and I believe this is going to be 100% match and I, I'm going to submit now see how it goes anyway I hope you have fun with this challenge and if you want more content like this please give me a like and subscribe to my channel